three, two, one, lift off, and welcome back to Yeez Nine Monstrum Knox. Also, I found another hidden mechanism. Apparently, there's more than just one. I was pretty much making the rounds searching around town for any hidden quests, NPCs, etc. when I found this. Huh, a treasure chest! Because I need to keep my eyes open. There's more than just one apparently. Because I honestly d didn't remember the. Wow, oh, what are the odds? That's exactly the item I need for, for Maxime. <laughs> ah. I'm not even done exploring everything yet. I still need to check the central mar- Uh, central. I still need to check the main square, the market, and artisan's lane. However, guess I'll be saving that for some other time. For now, let's get on with the prison escape. Or I suppose the prison rescue? Leave it to I got Astro. this. over the dry aged meat and 1,000 gold officially striking a deal with Maxime. This'll do. I'll get in touch with my contact. <laughs> Alright, Arthur. You know what to do. Count your blessings, redhead. I've got a job here just for you. Today's objective, intel on a prison carriage. Must have something to do with the knights. Haha, <laughs> God knows where you'll find your information like that. You can't even give me a hint? What was that? Couldn't hear ya! Not that some dirty inmate's worth listening to. Well, best of luck to you. I'll be looking forward to it. Come on, Greg! Help me out! You've already helped me out several times. Why... why is now any different? Completing these requests might help you uncover more intel in the prison. But first... You need to find some clues. Heave ho. Hello there, Xavier. A soon to be jailbreaker extraordinaire. See? There's this warehouse the knights have been using on the sly lately. You see? It will be a most arduous trek to make. But what say you? Wanna check it out? Lead the way, my good fellow. Yeah, it, I'm not gonna say I'll treat you to an apple because I like role playing. I would totally say lead the way, my good fellow, out of Jess. Verily, let's get that dastardly god's request over and done with. That dastardly god. That damn thick dastardly. Ah, uh, remember when Cartoon Network used to actually had really good cartoons. Those are good times. My childhood. Anyway. After breaking out of his cell yet again, Ado slipped quietly past the gods. With Xavier's guidance, the duo arrive at a mysterious underground passage. Who we all clear, Rusty? What's the matter? I must have been imagining things. I 
can go back, right? I can't go back, right? I know what that button is for. Also, Frick! <laughs> okay, so I need to trigger that button. Oh. Here. What? Inconceivable! Damn it, so I'm just supposed to go right then. What happens if you don't <laughs> press it? Okay, so there is literally no way to not press it, so I'm guessing I have to do this then. Jump right into it. Take a left. Not you again. There's apparently another damn trap. These insta-kill trap doors are kind of annoying because of the fact that they pretty much force you to reset. Oh well. I'm actually having a lot of fun. It's a nice change of pace. Though I do wonder why Ado is so weak considering in every other series, he never had to rely on supernatural powers before. This underground dungeon so high tech. This is a 
good thing I saved it. Treasure chest! Wait, not. Take not! Treasure chest! Just outright annoying. So, what now? A treasure chest. without getting murdered. meticulously kept records it seems to be a registry of hieroglyph night transports that does seem to be the case Among the 
goods and supply transports is an entry entitled Nuisance Transfer. This must be the escort Greg mentioned. The date of transfer is today. Zounds! There's not a moment to spare then! Verily, you're absolutely right. It's worth a shot. Let's hurry and relay this information back to them. So, where are we attacking? We made it, and not a moment too soon. We're gonna kill him to give a guy some heads up next time. <laughs> so, who is it this time? A knight? Another archaeologist? All charged up! There's something here! Could that be? <laughs> let's go, let's go! We're gonna fight the knights, aren't we? Just saw a lock, some giant beast. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just saw a lock, some giant beast would rush us out of nowhere. Well, it was hardly a match for us. Hmm? Hello, hello there, my knights in dreary armor. It would seem we have run into some trouble, much to our benefit. As if that beast wasn't bad enough, now the monstrums are attacking. Hm. Arrest them! Do not let this chance slip away. I'd rather not do this the violent way, I'm a pacifist. But if you don't want me to be a pacifist, then I'm gonna wreck your sh- I'm gonna be a wreck your race. Yeah, that that needs work, I know. I'm gonna wreck your ass. We'll just go with that. Essentially trying to use them as uh, blocking practice. So it's come to this. Let's see how you blast it, monstrums like the taste of a letter with venom. Ouch! We heard you've been falsely accused. You explain to the man exactly how their rescue of him came to be.
My name is Lucian. I'm a seneschal of the Hieroglyph Knights. What's a seneschal? But I think I'll leave my introduction at that. For all I know, that title may have been stripped from me by now. So it is one of the Hieroglyph Knights. You're one of the knights... Oh, so a Sinestro is a second in command. With that, Ador and his companions welcomed Lucian in as an official member of the group. Then they made their return to the Dandelion, exchanging information all the while- uh, That reminds me, I still haven't turned in that new recipe book yet. Are you sure you don't need us to find the author of those letters? I'd like to point out 
That was dangerously close to a Yahweh sounding line. For just a second, I thought that we'd finally have someone normal joining us. Why was that you hairy blueberry? <laughs> you hairy blueberry. <laughs> really? Dandelion is becoming merrier by the day. Always happy to help. 5,000 gold received. Oh, that's nice. Have a moment. Let's see here. Impressive as always, at all. I'd like you to have this. Have a moment. You give Pox the trick deck as a present. These are cards for magic tricks. I've had my eye on these for a while. Hmm. with Pox has increased. Pox support skill Veteran Command has reached level 2. Okay. Hello there. Say the word and I'll make it. Wow, these weapons require crimson sparse love. Well, don't you? I'm ready and rare and a go. Well, don't. Mm. I resist knife has pretty much zero signs of use, not even a trace of blood. Come back anytime. Preserve food. So, sure thing. Ritual relic added. Musketeer. Fires gravity orbs are drawn and damage enemies. All right, let's that get to prep. awesome. Again with the crimson sparrow. That should do it. <laughs> Good work out there. Oh gosh, I can't remember where... <laughs> there you are! May we? Le Grand. <laughs> ah, mm. ah, simply divine! This, mon ami, is for you. Yeah!
Your affinity with Mobihan has increased. Mobihan. Mobihan. Support skill. Undine's Grace has reached level 2. Plus, you receive all of the preserved food in the game. Ho oh, ho! State your desire! Really? That's it? 200? Oh yeah, sure! Earning gold isn't that much of a problem right now as I'll be farming the... Farming the Nox later. Off camera! Hmm. Oh, wow. I thought he would have a dialogue kick centered around each monstrum. Guess it's only limited. Shame. <laughs> if Credo is an indication. What'll it be? Bon appetit! Bon appetit! Anything else? Like, don't be a stranger! Have to take care of Aprilis' uh, little infestation problem. So, let's see. Where are they? An army of. No, no, not you. Tarantios. A dense nest of Tarantios has been found in the depths of the dry moat ruins. ton of eggs here, so is it around this location? Or no? Something's there. Wait a minute. Unless... Do I need to speak with the Prilis first? Allow me to explain. Allow me... Hmm. 
Oh wait, that's the wrong dungeon. Never mind. Well, the well that was a derp moment for me. That was honestly a derp moment for me. It was only after looking at the name that I realized. Wait a minute, this isn't the <laughs> dry mode ruins. <laughs> oh, that was stupid of me. Wow. Why are they in this cage? I'm surprised. I was honestly expecting a giant spider to drop down and attack us. How did it go? Oh, job well done. I grant this to you. Berserker's mask. Oh, what a snooze fest. <laughs> Skill damage times 1.5 and SP cost times 2. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. But I won't be able to use it properly till much later. Let's do the Grim Old Nox. Residual enmity lingers in the air here. You shouldn't just leave this be. What is that? So... A Prilis. <laughs> well, well. Look who's back, healthier than ever. Oh, I don't suppose you were concerned about me, were you? <laughs> Not in a million years. My injuries have healed. I regret you had to witness me in that state. I must be vigilant to avoid making the same mistake again. Does that mean the full moon Grimwald will happen again? Yes. And it will be soon. But my doubts have been absolved, seeing how far you've all come. And I have faith you'll continue to exceed my expectations. My new working theory is that Aprilis is th this Saint Rosvita person that keeps that uh, supposedly died centuries ago. Aprilis seems different. Or maybe different. just one century. It was a hundred year war, so... Maybe less. Anyway. Who knows? We'll find out more eventually. But my current working theory is that somehow Aprilis is... Saint Rosvita, who somehow survived. Or... Whose soul got cursed and trapped to wander this mortal realm fighting the Lemures. After her... Well... Burning. And yet, you never cease to find an excuse to boss us around. <laughs> Either way, we're gonna smash through this Grimwald Knox like we always do. Monstrums. The time is nigh. Stand ready!
Lay waste to the malevolent, lest the night prevail. As the sentinel between the dark and light, I, Aprilis, herald the fall of this dusk. done. Time to finish this! I am on route. I can see right through this. No, 
Twilight Shards! Yeah, well, I'll just farm for them more off camera. <laughs> I'd expect no less from all of you. That was tougher than I would have liked. Ooh, nice. Eight sturdy shows, eight dead heights, eight dock drops, and four anguish too. One resurrect potion, one dry HP, two bitter remedies, and four egg ultra dead spells. A pistol, four iron ore, four spirit lumber, and four glossy leaves. Accomplished the mission. Yep, it wasn't easy, but we pulled through. Hey, I heard you snuck into the prison again. Did you find anything worthwhile? That's right, we haven't told either of you yet. White Cat, <clears throat> White Cat recounts your visit to the outskirts of Baldu. After the first full moon grimoire. That explains the sudden change in the barrier I felt. Do you ever see any prisoners when you're in the prison? Prisoners? Well, of course. Very few now that... Very few. Renegade brings up a good point. Even though he hasn't seen the interior, he's suspicious if there are prisoners or not, and he's right to be suspicious. There's usually mostly empty cells. Is there... someone you had in mind? No. Forget I mentioned it. Anyhow, we know that the Full Moon Grimwald is an anomaly. I don't have a reason to go to the outskirts personally. But the Full Moon Grimwald is no pushover. So we'd better prepare for it. It seems it is time. Yes, it is time. And again, what a great parting shot. great segue to end this episode on so like comment subscribe hopefully you hopefully you enjoy the content i sincerely hope you enjoy the content and with that i bid you a fun bye <laughs>